Just these few weeks in September, you can see nature at work. Hummingbirds are in migration and stopping here on the coast one last time before a trip across the Gulf. This weekend, those hummingbirds will be celebrated in Jackson County. For a lot of people, it's really the gateway drug into birding. Kyle Shepard with the Banding Coalition of the Americas is on constant watch for the tiny hummingbirds. He says once you see one, you'll want to see more. Hummingbirds are sort of mystical in that a lot of people are really attracted to hummingbirds because it's something that most people don't get to see very often. So a lot of people get a hummingbird feeder, they'll stick it out their kitchen window, and they're like, man, this is awesome. And then they start noticing other birds in their yard. Every year, the ruby-throated hummingbirds migrate from the northeast to the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. Basically, we are in a migration superhighway along the entire northern Gulf Coast. This is the last stop before they take that flight across the Gulf. And depending on winds, it can take anywhere from 18 to 24 hours to make that flight. This weekend, the Pascagoula River Audubon Center in Moss Point celebrates the annual arrival with the Hummingbird Festival. For the center's education director, Katie Walsh Fetzer, the sights and sounds of the hummingbirds signal a changing of the seasons. When I start getting ready for Hummingbird Festival, I really miss and anticipate the sounds of all their chattering coming through the trees because it reminds me that the weather is changing, um, the weather's starting to cool off, will be cooling off. During the festival, Shepard will be banding the birds. It gives us a snapshot into these birds' lives. If you're not looking closely, hummingbirds could easily be mistaken for bugs. To put into perspective just how small they are, these tracking bands attached to the birds make a penny look large. We have different band sizes for different size birds. Shepard is licensed as required by federal law to put bands on the birds. He says tracking hummingbirds plays a big role in ensuring the visitors keep coming back year after year. Most importantly, the thing that we can learn from banding in general and figuring out what their migration paths are, where they breed and where they winter, is to conserve habitat along those migration routes. If you haven't seen a hummingbird yet, your best chance might be at the Hummingbird Festival. I'm 99% sure if you sit long enough, you can see a lot of our hummingbirds flying around, and the hope is that you can see our banders actually catch and band and you can see then a hummingbird up close. I love it here on the Gulf Coast, and most often for me, because I'm a bird nerd, it's because of the birds. So along with bird watching, other entertainment will be a part of the Hummingbird Festival. It starts on Thursday and goes through Saturday. Yeah, lots to do there. How do you become one of those bird banders? Bird banders. Well, there is a process as it's against federal law to handle hummingbirds at all. So even if you saw one in your yard, not allowed to pick it up or touch it without the proper license. And you can find more information on the process of becoming licensed on the website bandingcoalition.org. And I have that link also on WLOX.com. Yeah, so interesting. And Taylor, I know hummingbirds can handle the heat a little bit better than we can. We're hoping for a cool down out there.